So this was not my idea to wear this dress, but it will make sense after you hear what I have to say. <laughs> so the idea, what I'm gonna talk about is, are you going to be a queen in the in-between? And so I wanna start out telling you a story that is one of my favorite stories that God has used to speak to me throughout my entire life. I was in sixth grade and very artistic and loved books and there was going to be a contest about a poster contest so you drew on a poster for a book fair the winner of the contest would get a 25 dollars gift certificate to said book fair i absolutely wanted this so i went home and while everybody of course was just doing their basic book fair 7 p.m in the library date and time i decided to take the cover of a book and copy it and on the cover of the book there were two people walking towards the frame and on the side of them was a wall with writing on it, like a little something, something, you know, it was a high school book, right? And I decided to take that idea and put it on the poster. But instead of on the wall being whatever was in the book, it would say book fair, 7 p.m. in the library. I got to school and everybody was like, we're not worthy you're definitely gonna win. I was like, I know. I thank you for agreeing with me. <laughs> and I was sitting in Mr. Klecka's sixth grade class, sixth period, when the principal came on the loudspeaker and said, we are going to make the announcements for the winner of the book fair gift certificate, poster contest. He said, and the third place winner is, was not my name, totally fine, Congratulations. Second place winner, not my name. Good, good for you, I'm so glad for you. First place was called and it was not my name. And for about three seconds, I thought, what has gone wrong with the world? <laughs> Someone did not get the memo that I was supposed to win. And then all of a sudden he says, and the grand prize winner oh. is Elaine. But what it's taught me over the course of years is that we don't know what we don't know. I didn't know that there was such thing as a grand prize winner. And so when I was sitting in those moments of, oh my goodness, the world has gone wrong, I didn't know what was in store for me. And so fast forward, I'm standing on the pageant stage, okay? I've made, I've talked here. I'm gonna be in business, I mean, I am going to be Mrs. Texas. It's so obvious to me. God has just lined up all the rows and it is just, I mean, I've got it in the back. First, they announce the top 12. They announce one, two, three, four, I'm thinking, it's no, it's no particular order, it's fine. God's gonna make me wait to the last one because I know how God is, right? <laughs> the 12th person gets called, it's not me. They said, oh, we have a tie. Oh, okay, it's gonna be me, not me. I stood on stage mortified. I have tons of sponsors. I've spent thousands of dollars. I have people watching me on a live stream who were probably just as shocked as I am. My family, they did not come to prelims because it was $50 a ticket. I only bought tickets for finals because I was absolutely sure I was gonna win. Mm -hmm. They didn't get to see me walk across the stage at all, except for just like a tiny bit. And so in that moment, I heard the Lord whisper, this is your in-between moment. You don't know what you don't know. The Bible says that eye has not seen nor ear has heard that which the Lord has for those who love him. And so I'm gonna back up just a little bit and tell you that I used to be a blogger and a speaker. I've written 10 eBooks. I've written for best-selling authors. One day I decided this is not producing money, honestly, it wasn't producing money. I'm gonna, I've, I gotta just lay this dream down. Obviously the Lord has not blessed this, I'm just gonna lay it down. Broke my heart, but I was ready because I was burnt out. And I shifted to selling vintage furniture. I'm just selling vintage furniture. 
not going to preach about Jesus, not going to blog, don't even ask. And let me tell you, I have reached more people for Jesus through vintage furniture than a blog ever could have, the people that need him the most. Mm -hmm. And so then he started knocking on my heart, asking me to follow him. And so though right now I am standing in the in-between of I wanted to be Mrs. Texas and next year's pageant when I will run again, I am living yesterday's dream right now. I am no longer in the in-between of yesterday's dream. And so I want to challenge you ladies. How are you going to show up? Are you going to choose to act like a queen and show up confidently because you know that you have something in store for you that God is not, he has not forgotten? He hasn't decided that you don't get to win. Ultimately, of course, we win the ultimate prize, which is heaven. But we're all living in an in-between state, right? Sometimes we want kids. Finally, we want kids. And now we're like, and now I want <coughs> peace and quiet, you know? And so we are always living in one in-between and living out another dream. And so I just want to encourage you to remember that if you're going to, through a season where you're in the in-between of something and it feels painful Maybe you cry to lift your head eye. Continue to show up confidently that your God will complete the work he has begun in you. And I can tell you that I have learned more in the in-between than if I had ever been crowned queen. So good. Yeah.